hi guys and welcome to a bit of a different video today. It was inspired by an email I got a couple months back from a lady called Alicia who told me how her four year old son had become interested in lizards but of course he was way too young to have one as a pet so instead she bought a toy gecko and wanted to build it a little mini terrarium of its own so her son could almost have his own little pet lizard. So I thought in today's video I'd discuss a few different kind of pets or toy pet ideas for either parents looking for their own children or for children who at this time you can't have your own like exotic pet or for people who may not be capable of looking after a pet full time. Just to say, none of the products in this video have been given to me, this video is not sponsored, these are just a few cool ideas I've found. So the first one is a jellyfish lamp. Now I've actually bought this for a close family member of mine who happens to have special needs. You see, when I was setting up my own aquarium, he was really excited. He's always wanted a fish tank of his own. We always discuss fish and plants and everything you can put in there. But it's very hard to explain to him that it's kind of hard to maintain. Like you have to do water changes, make sure the fish are actually being fed. There are lamps, there are pumps. There's a lot of stuff going on in an aquarium. It's not as easy as it looks. So. Instead, I actually mentioned this to him and he got super excited. I think this is actually really cool for kids of all ages, even adults. As I said, the jellyfish look kind of convincing, pretty convincing, kind of. It's kind of relaxing with the movement and the lights. And yeah, I think it's just a great, safer and much easier substitute for an actual aquarium. Of course, you don't need to get this particular brand. This is just the one I happen to have bought. There are loads of different ones on the market, different shapes, different sizes. It's totally up to you. The next idea is another aquatic one, and there's actually two options here, triops or sea monkeys. Now, I have found that triops are far harder to hatch out and maintain, so I think younger children would probably lose interest, but if you're a little bit older, or you're just like me, um, yeah, you, you want to give it a go. It doesn't always work out, it can be frustrating, but they are pretty cool when they do hatch out. The other one is sea monkeys or actually aqua dragons which are just the same thing just different brand names. They are brine shrimp that are fairly easy to maintain and actually quite entertaining. You may have seen a series I did all about sea monkeys that ran for like 20 odd episodes it was ridiculous. But the great thing about sea monkeys in particular is they've been around for years and years so all generations can appreciate them. The next pet idea kind of involves our wildlife. So for example, it can be great to go out, get a few wood lice or even worms or even garden snails, set up a nice spacious tank to try to replicate the wild where they were found and bring it back and put it in a tank and home these critters in there for a while with the intention of eventually releasing them back into the wild. I used to do this so much as a kid and it was so exciting to see like the baby wood lice or brushing back a bit of soil and finding a whole load of garden snail eggs. Although trying to explain to a child that snails are hermaphrodites and reproduce via the neck may be a little tricky but seven year old me caught on pretty quick. <laughs> Nevertheless, I feel like seeing these creatures up close, observing their behaviour and seeing all their little babies can really give you or a child a whole new perspective and respect for the wildlife around you. Similar to that idea, though it's a little bit late as I'm uploading this video in summer, but during springtime you can do what I do and go out in the countryside and find caterpillars. Sometimes you don't even have to look that far, sometimes they're just in your garden. Ideally only take a few, look at the leaves they're eating and nab a few of them if you're allowed. Um, you can also get these pop-up netted habitats where your caterpillars can live and grow and grow even more and then finally pupate and hatch out. Of course, re release the butterflies afterwards. Um, I did this as a child and even now in my m early to mid 20s, I still do this. To me, the whole process is just so fascinating. A safety tip though, if you watch my series on the brown tailed moths, make sure you know the caterpillar you are collecting, uh, make sure you know they're safe and you can handle them. If not, make sure you use gloves, but even still, you know, approach with caution. But if you'd prefer to keep the bugs outside the house, then there are always lots of different kits for exploring and collecting bugs and observing them whilst you're out and about. This last thing is quite a personal thing for me and maybe it's not for everyone, but I found it kind of sweet. So an extremely close family member of mine, near the end of her life, she had dementia. 
and a few years prior I think I must have given her a bird that sang, it was sat on a perch and it sings when you make a loud sound or you clap or something like that. Well as her condition worsened we actually found that she kind of thought the birds were real and you'd find her like talking to them and it was really sweet and I think her last Christmas I bought her another one so essentially she thought she was getting another pet and although she may not have been able to tell the difference she did think they're real it was lovely to see her interact with something and have some company and feel like she was caring for something without the burden of actually having to care for it so yeah, those are just a few of my ideas and if you have any of your own, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Once again, this video is not sponsored, but I always find really cool educational like science toys on the Natural History Museum website, so maybe head over there and like get some inspiration. There's loads of different stuff you can get. So whether you're looking for yourself, a child or someone who may not be capable of looking after a pet full time, I hope you find some excitement or comfort in these alternative pet ideas. So thank you for watching guys, if you haven't please subscribe, but thank you and goodbye.